Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'll be installing AdGuard Home on Portainer and showing you step by step on how to do it. Um, so, I will be using uh, Portainer Stacks, which underneath is Docker Compose. So, it just it, it just brings a UI to Docker Compose. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over Home Labs, I'm going over installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So I have a Docker Compose uh, that I made and I put it on GitHub GIST. So I'll have a link in the description to get to it easy. So a ver version three of Docker Compose, the services underneath, and then AdGuard Home's one service. And then image is coming from Docker Hub. And how you know it's coming from Docker Hub is it, ha is it has nothing before this. So um, it will default to getting this off Docker Hub. But if it was like on GitHub, I would have a domain before this and then show where to get it. So container name is AdGuard Home, restart. So this means that if you if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails for any reason, it will try to restart. Ports. So when you're doing a port, it's host and then container and then and then uh, TCP or UDP. So or, or exposing 53 and 53, this is the DNS. And um, so volumes on the host, it's data, add guard home work, and then data, add guard home config directory, and then opt add guard work, and then opt add guard home config. So this right here is actually inside of the host machine that you're running the portainer on. And then this is inside the container and they sync back and forth. So that's the explanation for Docker Compose. So we're going to need to check if port 53 is taken for the DNS port. Um, normally on the Ubuntu and Debian it is taken so we do need to check. So I'm going to do the first command and I have this GIST and I'll have it down in the description for you to go to. So I'm gonna go over my uh, portainer installation. So my my portainer uh, VM, and then it's gonna be uh, on console, and then it's gonna be in here. So I'm gonna see if port 53 is taken, and it is. It looks like systemd resolve is using it. So we're going to need to take that out and uh, stop it. So I'm gonna go back over to my um, GIST, and I'm gonna copy the disable and stop system D resolve service right here. I'm gonna go back over to my Proxmox. I'm gonna paste it in. So I'm gonna remove it and disable it and stop it. So now this 53 should be open and it is. You can see there's nothing on it anymore. So that's how to get 53 cleared up. So now we're gonna go back to my guest and I'm gonna copy the Docker Compose right here that I've already explained. So I'm gonna go to my Portainer installation right here. Then I'm gonna go home and then local right here. And then stacks, add stack. Then I'm gonna put a stack name. So I'm gonna just do add guard home stack. Okay, now I'm gonna paste in what I uh, just copied over in my GIST, and um, it should work, and I'm gonna deploy the stack now. It worked, it's successfully deployed, and it should be running on uh, port 3000 for the setup for AdGuard Home. So we're gonna start on the, uh, the stacks and then AdGuard Home Stack. And then we're gonna go in the container right here. Then you can see logs, inspect, stats, console, attach. You can go down here and you can see all the ports that you've forwarded from the host to the container. So we're gonna need to do uh, port 3000 because that's the first port that you go to on the AdGuard Home. So I'm going to go over to my Let 
go ahead and do port 3000. So it's going to be your portainer IP address and then port 3000 on top of that. And then there we go. Welcome to Adguard Home. And this is running in portainer. So get started. And then the admin web interface is going to be listening on port uh, 80. The DNS server is going to be listing on port 53, the one that we cleared off. I would recommend doing a static IP, so you'll need to get the MAC address of the portainer and then adding a static IP to the portainer uh, in your router. So next, and then I'm going to put in a username and password. Okay, the first password, oops, this one don't uh, match. Let me see. Okay, now, okay, uh, the username and then password and then confirm password. So put in the same passwords as you can see there. <laughs> and then next, and then you'll get instructions for router Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, DNS privacy. I would recommend you putting it on your router so it goes to all of your devices on your router. But you can put it on single devices too. I'm going to press next. And then I'm going to say open dashboard. So now we're on the uh, login page. So I'm going to show you you can log in. And I'm going to put in my password. And then now I've put in my password, I've logged in, everything like that. So now you can go over to your a DNS block list and you can, you can add one from the list and you can start blocking things. And um, you can see what you've uh, done in the stats right here. So that's how to get AdGuard Home working on Portainer. So I just walked you through step by step on how to get AdGuard Home on Portainer. This makes it to where you can block ads, malware, different things based on the DNS, uh, the, uh, on the DNS level. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions, support needed, or anything like that, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. So stay tuned for more.